Hi guys, I wanted to create a video on fat macros because people have a hard time getting 75% of their fat calories on the keto and intermittent fasting plan because 75% is like the great majority of your meal, right? So people are like trying to stuff themselves with all this fat. So I wanted to help you determine how much fat that you need because it's a little confusing since it's 140 grams or uh, 1,260 calories and like how are you going to figure that out, right? Well, this is what you should really do. Determine this by your hunger, okay? In other words, if you're satisfied, do not eat anything. If you're not hungry, don't eat, okay? So you don't have to force yourself to increase more and more fat to try to match this. Don't worry about this because when you're eating food, most of the food comes with a combination of fat and protein. Of course, if you're talking about carbs, it's something else, but a lot of the proteins come with its own fat, so that's gonna contribute to a lot of this as well. So you may not need as much as you think. Go by your hunger. I mean, what happens is you have your body's ability to burn its own fat versus the fat coming from the diet. The goal is to get you over here where your body is burning your own fat and eating your own fat as its meal. So number one, when you're starting out, you're obviously gonna use more fat because your body has not adapted yet to burn your own fat. And that external dietary fat will allow you to go from one meal to the next more comfortably, okay? But when you get into it and you're adapting, you're going to need less fat because your body's going to use its own fat. So yes, your calories will decrease in your meals because a lot of those calories that you're eating are your own fat calories. Okay, does that make sense? So then when you hit your goal weight-wise and you're on a maintenance plan, let's say for example, you lost all the weight that you wanted and you don't want to lose any more. Simply increase the amount of fat in the diet and that will cause you to burn up less of your own fat, okay? So you're gonna increase your fat in the very beginning and in the maintenance, but not in the middle. Does that make sense? So those are some points I wanted to cover. Hope that clarified things, and thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.